They were here tens of thousands of years before the ancient Egyptians built their pyramids. They were here in 2004 when the Indian tsunami ravaged their lands. But now they could be gone in less than 10 years because the modern threats that these people face are something that their ancestors could never have imagined. This is the story of Jarawa. And before we begin, don't forget to press that subscribe button if you like our stories. In the territory of India, deep in the jungles of the Andaman Islands, where all forms of access are forbidden, is where a French filmmaker, Alexandre Draz, set off to find the native island inhabitants, or the Jarawas, and film a documentary about their struggles. The project would not have been possible without the anonymous Indian activists who enabled the contact with Jarawa for a benevolent reason. The crew was able to capture the voices of people who had lived untouched by civilization for thousands of years. Today, there are around 400 Jarawas remaining. In the language of their traditional tribal enemy, the word Jarawa means hostile. It is not only a name, it's a reputation. For centuries, rumors about their deadly nature spread like wildfire. Sailors even believed them to be cannibals. They have the heads of dogs, is how Marco Polo, the famous Italian explorer, described them after his 24-year journey throughout Asia. However, once you get to know them, it seems the truth is quite the contrary. <laughs> The absence of contact with the outside world has had its impact. Their way of life has remained almost completely unaltered since the Stone Age. The way they hunt, prepare food, and live depends entirely on nature and is one of many aspects about the tribe that makes them unique. Unaffected by technology or any other influences of modern civilization, you might expect there is a large social divide between the norms of the tribe and outsiders. But once you take a glimpse at the way they see the world, you remember there are parts of our human nature that connect us all. <laughs> But times have changed. The world has gotten more global and made contact with the outside world inevitable. The outsiders are no longer a mystery for the Jarawa, as numerous interactions have occurred during the last decades. It has had its effect. Jarawa lifestyle has been changed forever. They wear clothes, utilize scissors, and use mirrors when applying makeup. For thousands of years, they used candles at night, made from beeswax. But today, they have a more reliable solution. <laughs> But every change or action has a reaction. Most of their modern devices were given to them by poachers. Poachers invade the protected land of the Jarawas and kill wild boars on their way. These hunts have drastically affected the livelihood of the Jarawas. Stealing their game has caused a food scarcity problem among the Jarawa. 
which in turn has forced them to change their traditional food collection customs. They have been forced to hunt deer, which they have never done before. It is a difficult choice, and the tribe's women still refuse to eat it, relying solely on fish. Lack of food security is not the only consequence of interactions with poachers. Knowing that they are not welcome, armed with rifles and willing to use them against the Jarawas, poachers refuse to listen. What they didn't take into account was the original reputation of this warrior tribe. Sadly, even without the threat of poachers, modernity would have reached the Jarawas in other ways. The lush forests that the Jarawa live in are a protected territory with no entrance allowed. Yet, there's an exception. Back in the 1970s, a road was constructed. It was supposed to be an arterial road, connecting smaller towns with the capital city of Andaman to facilitate the distribution of goods. But it started being misused fast. Even though the traffic on this road is organized in a military convoy to prevent anyone from getting out of their cars, it has not been able to scare away curious adventurers. Alongside the trespassing vehicles, tourist buses came along. Driving down this road gave tourists a chance to see the tribe with their own eyes. Even though it's strictly forbidden to take pictures while on this road, people still have managed to photograph and film the Jarawas. Repulsive videos have appeared on the internet. Some of them were filmed by tourists, some by corrupt policemen. This has sparked international outrage. The exploitation of indigenous people who have been reduced to a commercial object is deservedly called human safari or human zoo. Historically, human zoos were public exhibitions of live humans, usually non-Europeans, who were tricked into doing so or taken by force. This practice took place in Europe and ran until the late 50s. The case of the Jarawa people definitely seems like a modern form of this inhumane phenomenon. The international outrage forced Indian authorities to introduce several measures to stop this kind of disgraceful behavior. But as we can see from this comment on TripAdvisor, the human safari activities seem not to have stopped. If the contact remains as it is, Jarawas will either go extinct or they will be forced to assimilate into society. The idea of assimilation does not sound deadly, but in reality, it would look grim. The forests they now inhabit would no longer be protected without the Jarawas living there. This would allow developers to buy these lands and log the forests down. The Jarawas would find themselves in Port Blair, the capital of Andamans, uneducated and financially insecure they would end up being exploited as cheap labor. The future of the Jarawa tribe looks bleak. But there is an alternative. Alexandre Draz, who shot all of this footage, launched a campaign called We Are Humanity. This campaign aims to raise awareness about the fate facing the Jarawa. And the campaign includes a petition from the organizers requesting the authorities to fight against the poacher problem and close down the road which crosses their land. You can find the link to sign this petition in the description box below. <laughs> if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. This will make it easier to make stories similar to this one.